All right, now signs that progress is being made to return to normal after Irma. Slowly but surely, we will get there. CBS 4's Kerry Codd was out and about today across Broward County. He joins us now from Fort Lauderdale with the latest out of there. Kerry. Well, Elliot, let me show you first a dangerous and very precarious power situation here for people in the Coral Ridge community of Fort Lauderdale. There are four wooden power poles in this neighborhood that are affected. They are, one is leaning over, about ready to fall. The others are progressively more upright, but also look like they might topple over. And one of the residents here tells me they don't know if these poles are still live. It's been a, a little challenging because we're kind of stuck. Susan Rinley and her neighbors in this East Fort Lauderdale neighborhood are stuck because of these leaning power poles that have been stuck in this position since Hurricane Irma roared through over the weekend. Residents are fearful the poles will come down and cause major problems. This home in Hollywood burned due to a down power line, we're told, and residents here don't want that to happen. And what's been really scary is at night, because there's no power on the street, if somebody's going to run into it, and then they'll really fall. This is just one of the scenes of damage throughout Broward in Plantation. American Heritage's football field is submerged. In Hollywood, cleanup crews are hard at work removing trees like crews are doing throughout Broward. And at Deerfield Beach, we're getting our first look at the damage to the Deerfield Beach Pier, which is shut down. Most people across Broward are focused, like many, on finding an open gas station like this one in Fort Lauderdale and getting their power back on. There are some signs of normalcy. Las Carnitas Restaurant along Davy Boulevard near 441 is open for business, running off a generator. Like a lot of people don't have like electricity at their house, and they're like struggling like with food, and like they need a place to go eat. Susan Rinley says she and her neighbors can't go anywhere until FPL figures out how to safely deal with this situation, but they're trying to make the best of it. What's been great, all the communities come together, the whole street. We're very tight with our neighbors, and we're all helping each other. I'm told an FPL crew was here around 4.30 to try to assess this situation. Another concern for residents, attempted home break-ins. I'm told there were a couple of attempts in this particular area over the last day or two and several break-ins at homes just a few blocks from here. A lot for people to worry about in this neighborhood. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News.